This is a spatial aptitude question about figure transformations. We have been given this figure P initially, which in one operation will get converted to figure Q. And then from this figure Q, by applying one more operation to this, it will finally get converted to figure R. So what we basically need to do is we will determine what are these operations 1 and 2 that will help us achieve this particular task. So now let us first have a look at these figures P and Q. We can see that this the longest leg of this star it has turned over here. So you can see that it is not exactly opposite. It has come some way like this. So like it has been rotated by 90 degree that can be seen. And if you also check for the other legs of the star, this is the second largest edge and that has come over here. So again, that is a 90 degree. So you can say that if we turn this figure P by 90 degrees to the right, then we will get this figure Q. So let us see if that's there in any of the options. The first one is saying a clockwise rotation by 90 degree about an axis perpendicular to the plane of the figure, which means from the same axis, we simply flip this 90 degrees to the right, then we'll get figure Q. So this seems to be the correct operation. It has also been given in the C option, the clockwise rotation by 90 degree. B is discarded because it is saying counterclockwise and D is discarded because it is saying 180 degree low rotation. So now we are left with just two options. And next let us move on to check this operation 2 that how we can convert figure Q into figure R. So we, here we can see the longest leg. It is pointing to the southeast direction in Q while if we check in R it seems to be pointing to the northeast direction. So again it seems like that there is a 90 degree rotation and anti-clockwise this time. But if that were the case then P and R should have been the same because first we are rotating 90 degree clockwise then we rotate 90 degree anti-clockwise then this Q should again convert into P, right? But we can see that P and R are not the same. Which means there is no 90 degree rotation over here. Operation 2 is not a counterclockwise rotation of 90 degree. Something else has been done. Okay, so for that let us check other legs over here. This is the second largest leg of the star. And that has now come to this particular position. So for this one also we can see that initially northwest then southwest. So again it seems to be 90 degree rotation anticlockwise. We'll also check for the other legs. This is the shortest one, the tiniest leg of the star and that is now come to this place. So now what operation this could be? It seems that the original this one which was along the horizontal axis that is staying at the same position it has not rotated by 90 degree anywhere. So looking at this what comes to my mind is it might be possible that there might be horizontal axis like this and what they did is they simply flipped the figure upside down either like this or like this then only it will happen that this particular leg will stay in the same position and others will swap their places upside down. This was initially downwards, now it turned up. This second largest leg was initially upwards, now it came downwards. So yes, this is a po possible operation that there was a horizontal axis and they simply flipped the figure upside down. Let's check the option reflection along the horizontal line. Yes, that is what we were talking about. Flipping along a horizontal axis. Option C is saying reflection along a vertical line. No. If it were vertical, then this would have come on this side. 
the tallest leg would have come on the opposite side that is not the case they have taken the reflection law horizontal axis itself so we will go with option a as the correct answer